Europska unija nam je sve bliže, a tako i razni novi zakoni i norme koje ćemo htjeli ne htjeli morati slijediti. Ono što će Europska unija definitivno zahtijevati je smanjenje emisije CO2, što je najnoviji trend ne samo u Europi nego i u svijetu. Bez obzira na zakone, postavljeni standardi odgovarat će i našem zdravlju te zdravlju naše djece, kao i učinkovitijoj štednji energije. Stoga biste se, ako već niste, što prije trebali informirati o raznim oblicima zelene gradnje. Zelena gradnja odnosi se na cjeloviti proces osmišljavanja, izvedbe, održavanja, korištenja i obnove objekata temeljen na principu održivosti. Ona ne podrazumijeva samo korištenje novih materijala, već pretpostavlja određenu kulturu života, stanovanja i korištenja prostora koja je u skladu s održivim razvojem. Neprofitna organizacija za promicanje prakse održive gradnje pod nazivom Savjet za zelenu gradnju u Hrvatskoj prošli tjedan održala je dvodnevno predavanje pod nazivom Sustainable Site Selection and Management te Managing Green Building Projects. Predavanja su vodili međunarodno priznati stručnjaci iz područja zelene gradnje i održivog razvoja Martin Dreisaitel, Steven Beckers te Steven Bornkamp. Polaznici su dobili uvid u to što je menadžment održivog mjesta i kako funkcionira te što je održivo i urbano planiranje, a predavanja su prikazala osnovna načela i najbolje prakse upravljanja projektima zelenih zgrada u svijetu. The lecture I gave today, uh, which was actually an interactive uh, course at the Green Building Council here in Zagreb, was about explaining how we can go further than the regulations and the, the uh, certifications that exist today. Uh, and is to try to give more an inspirational way of looking at green buildings. It's not to do less bad uh, buildings in terms of environmental uh, impact, it's to do buildings that have a positive impact on the, on the environment and try to inspire the members of the Green Building Council in that way. Kakvo je konkretno stanje u Hrvatskoj u području zelene gradnje, objasnio nam je drugi predavač tog dana, Steven Bornkamp, osnivač Vijeća za zelenu gradnju u Rumunjskoj. Well, I found a, there's a lot of enthusiasm uh, for the topic. I, I've seen with my own eyes, uh, mostly just, just my own travels have been in Zagreb, but I've seen there's a lot of the basic conditions uh, to be successful in transforming the building environment. There's certainly a design talent uh, and, and a willingness to preserve culture and at the same time explore new ideas. So I think these things are, are very important and the rest is just looking out for new information and, and uh, integrating the process with, with more of a multidisciplinary approach uh, to how buildings are done. Uh, so I think this it will actually be very successful here. I think the, the Green Building Council here has done a good job of pulling together different parts of the business industry but also uh, working with the government and academia uh, which are also of course extremely important in solving this, this problem of, of the green performance of our buildings. Osim spomenutih, vrlo aktualna bila je i tema o sustavu Cradle to Cradle, koji nam je bolje pojasnio arhitekt i konzultant Steven Beckers. Cradle to Cradle, first of all, was, was defined by uh, Michael Brondgaard, a German chemist, and Bill McDonough, who is an American architect, uh, master planner. And it was to define ways of creating a new green economy. The main feature of Cradle to Cradle is the recyclability of everything we use and that we can separate everything that's in a technical cycle, elements that can be reused in the industry, and the biological cycle, everything that can be reused back to nature and create humus. Mnogi će zbog ponekih kompliciranih pojmova, kao i neupućenosti u sam proces, zaključiti kako je zelena gradnja skuplja od obične, no to nije nužno pravilo. If you look at the way that we've been calculating things until today, yes, it's probably more expensive if you talk about a cost per square meter. If you look at the fact that a green building offers more, and doesn't cost more, it offers more, it means that you can offset some of those costs. You can even have it financed by third-party investors, like energy productions, like food production, like all the elements we could get into buildings. If you look at uh, the Apple computer by Steve Jobs, everybody said he was crazy because he was selling computers that were three times the price of the others on the market. He's now the largest in the world uh, with, with a fantastic product. It's, it is very important to know that when I am asked what is more expensive, is it a normal building or a green building, I say what is more expensive, a good building or a bad building. 
Promocija zelene gradnje mnogo je više od ekološke kampanje, jer zelene građevine diljem svijeta uživaju u jasnim tržišnim prednostima koje u običajni projekti nemaju. Tvrtke, organizacije i pojedinci iz svakog sektora imaju priliku uživati u koristima nekretnina ili dijelova projekata koji su usvojili i ugradili aspekte održivosti, jer posvjedočeni rezultati su smanjeni troškovi upravljanja, veći povrat od ulaganja i vrhunski stambeni ili radni okoliš.